I do seem to end up in a World War II film as of late. Um, I didn't know much about the espionage world and, and what it took to get behind enemy lines and to plant your characters up. That was real interesting. The story itself, though, I learned about. Um, I had a, a meeting with Stephen Knight, the, the writer, yep. years ago when we were shooting World War Z, and he began to tell me the story before he'd written it, and it was based on members of his family. And so cut to so many years later, here we are. So it's, it's nice to uh, see this thing come full circle. My favorite locations actually were the things we did on set because it was a throwback to the old 40s films where you used to be in a stationary car and you'd see a rear projection. Yes. And you would, when we're sitting on a sand dune, you don't know if we're in a, you know, in a tent or if we're actually in the, in the Sahara. So I love it. Um, that was the most fun to me to, to take to approach this film like the old 40s films but using the new technology and that's something bob had his arms around right from the beginning and i think that was good fun for us well yeah she's controlling the situation when they meet and because yeah. she's organized everything so it's uh, it's a very strong character she's a very strong woman and it's always fun to play a very strong woman all the costumes and uh, most of them were made on me uh, working with a great costume designer Joanna and she's worked with uh, Bob forever and they know each other perfectly and she has this sense uh, of a woman of glamour and uh, and at the same time of the, the strength of the story and the character so it was really interesting and beautiful I mean it's always something very long and sometimes tiring to uh, try on all the costumes but I have to say every day I would go to her and I was like it's never painful it's always um, it's always a joy to see what's you know what they've created that was my dream as a, as a kid when I wanted to be an actress I really wanted to explore um, different genres and um, different culture also. Um, but uh, I'm, I feel very lucky that I can jump from such a glamorous movie in this like um, old Hollywood style um, movie, but directed by Robert Zemeckis, so it, cannot, it can never be old. He's such right. a visioner. When I was a kid, I was a, a, a big fan of Greta Garbo. And, uh, but all those actresses, I mean, Ingrid Bergman was such an amazing actress, Catherine Hepburn, Audrey Hepburn, uh, all those uh, amazing, strong, powerful women and, and also very sensitive and they gave uh, amazing performances. So yeah, we, I mean, I guess every actress is inspired by all those iconic, um, um, Hollywood stars, but more than that, amazing actresses. There is a truth and an authenticity about her. This movie is really a love story, and her love for this man is really uh, authentic. Well, it's, uh, it was a great screenplay that Stephen Knight wrote, and uh, whenever you read a really good screenplay, you have to do one. And that's, that's the simple answer to the question. It was such a good screenplay. Well, it's kind of a universal, uh, universal theme, you know, life gets in the way of love a lot of times, and uh, it's something that everybody can relate to. The universal theme, you know, to, you know, to, to experience love, you have to, um, you know, you have to put yourself out there, you have to trust, you have to take risk, yeah. you have to take risk. Um, most of the time, it's uh, always worth it. Uh, it does create great drama in movies. But I think we were very aware that in, in the era that the film takes place, in the 1940s, it was a very specific style of film that was being made design-wise in Hollywood. It had a specific type of glamour. And so that was something that is what we saw in everything that we looked at. So I would say that we were maybe channeling the, the actual era itself. I just wanted to create the era and the period and the, uh, and the action and the excitement as best I could make it as entertaining as I could. Um, you know, visual effects are always a great tool when you have to do stuff like that. Well, they turned out exactly as I hoped. They were, you know, both are fantastic actors and I couldn't be more pleased and I had a great time working with both of them. They're, they're wonderful. But from a directing standpoint, you have to, 
just be aware of what the, the camera's doing from a point of view. And uh, that's the stuff I love to sink my teeth into is, is dealing with the cinematic way to uh, keep the audience guessing.